So, we have covered up till now patents, copyright, trademarks. So, then let us the fourth IP right called design. So, what do you understand by design? Okay. So, I have a plant layout, is it a design? Okay. 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 Okay, anybody else? See what he says is correct in common parlance, but for the purpose of IP, design means only the features of shape, configuration, pattern, ornament or composition lines or colors apply to any article two dimension or three dimension by any industrial process manual mechanical or chemical which in the finished article appeal to the eye and are judged solely by eye. As an engineers when we talk about design we always talk in functional terms, but for the purpose of IP it is only the aesthetic purpose, aesthetic of article which is mass produced the way the product looks and not the way it functions. You may do some intervention which satisfy both the aspects. It also serves the functional aspect as well aesthetic aspects. In that case you will get two rights. For the functional part you can have a patent and for the aesthetic part you will have design registration. I say the way it looks. The way, it, ah, the way it looks, see you go and buy a scooter, 50 cc scooter, you choose one and another, another because of the styling, that is aesthetics, that gets covered by design registration. So, why should we protect aesthetics? Why should design registration be given? Hmm. It is not a pedantic color, we will see. Huh. Color is a part of the design, only just color you cannot. That is a key. A combination of No, that is what the case which we looked in the trademark that purple Cadbury's court did not allow Cadbury the monopoly or purple. So, that is obvious or common knowledge. Huh, because then you cannot exclude others from using any purple color, but then as a part of trade dress color was there. See what happens, very often our decision to buy a particular product is decided by the aesthetics. Two products being same like I gave an example of a two wheeler, both the scooters are 50 cc have same performance, but you are choosing one over another just because of the aesthetic. So, your decisions is swayed, influenced by that creative element. So, there are people who contribute to that, the designer, artisan, originator design who gives that aesthetic look, his creative contribution also should be you know recognized and protected, therefore, design protection is given. Again design is not the article, design is an integral part of the article. 
it is applied to an article of manufacture. An article can be natural or manufactured article capable of being made and sold separately. Design is not sold separately, it is integral to the article, it is applied to something. Then there are set of articles who are intended to be used together. They have common design, although the articles are different, but they belong to the same class. You have paint set, a fountain pen, ballpoint pen, pencil pen, your cutlery, a plate, cup, they are the same design. So, the set of articles which has general character belong to the same class, differently, but they are sold as a set. So, you can apply the same design to all of them. As in other IP rights, we said certain things are excluded. So, what is excluded from design? Design of industrial plan layouts and installations. Normally, designs of artistic nature like painting, sculpture, which are not produced in bulk by any industrial process are excluded because they will get coverage under copyright. Design which are inside, say arrangement of a box, money purse, almira, which are never sold in open form. So, internal elements cannot be protected by a design. Because it is for aesthetic purpose, so what is sold in a close form, that design. Any mode or a principle of construction or operation of anything which is substance or mere mechanical device. So, basically functional aspects cannot be covered by design registration, they will get a patent protection. Then you have stamps, labels, tokens, cards, they will get protection by a copyright, but not by the design or a trademark or a logo which form a part of an article will not get a design registration, but it has its own protection under the trademark. Now, again what are the requirement for design to get protected? It has to be original, this originating from the authors, it also includes application of known shape or a pattern to a new subject matter, which means old design you apply to a new applications, which have never been done before, can also get protected. And novelty is judged on a worldwide basis, like a patent, global in nature. So, nowhere in the world it has been previously published or used in any country before the effort of application. Again, it should not be contrary to public morality, should not contain any scandal or obscene matter. Now, what does it confers on you? It confers on you a kind of a copyright on the design, which means you can exclude others from using that and you can sue them for infringement if they do. Protection is 10 years of registration, maximum extended in our country by 5 years, which means design can be protected for 15 years. After that it is free, so you get a certificate of registration and there is a national register of design in which it will be entered and you will have that number. Copyright is mainly for an artistic work and protection is 60 years after your lifetime. Ha. Ah. So, Mahatma Gandhi died 1948, copyright remained valid till 2008. Of that his book, his autobiography or whatever he wrote, he wrote articles in Young India, all those got copyright. He was 15. You may have design and you may not have protected it under design registration. 
it will still get protected under copyright. But the moment you make 50 or more copies, the copyright law does not apply. So, if you are talking about a mass production, always must think of design registration. We will see implication of this little later today, what it means. Familiar with this figure, Statue of Liberty. As I told you, US does not give design registration. US gives design patents, varied for 14 years. So, the Statue of Liberty was patented under the design patent. Read what it was written. Be it known that I, Augustine Bartholdi of Paris, in the Republic of France, I originated and produced a design of a monumental statue representing liberty enlightening the world, being intended as a commemorative monument of the independence of the United States. And I hereby declare the following to full, clear, and exact description of the same, refers being had to the accompanying illustration, which I submit as a part of the specification. The statue is that of a female figure standing erect upon a pedestal or a block the body being thrown slightly over to the left, so as to gravitate upon the left leg, the whole figure being thus in equilibrium and symmetrically arranged with respect to perpendicular line of axis passing through the head and left foot. The right leg with his lower limb thrown back is bent, resting upon the bent toe, thus giving grace to the general attitude of the figure. The body is clothed in the classical drapery being a stola or mantle gathered in upon the left shoulder and thrown over to the skirt or a tunic or undergarment which drops in voluminous fold upon the feet. The right arm is thrown up and stosed out with the flame by and torch grabs in the hand. The flame of the torch is sailed high up above the figure. The arm is nude, the drapery of the sleeve is dripping down upon the shoulder in voluminous fold of the left arm falling etc. And look at the final claim. What I claim as my invention is the herein described design of a statue representing liberty enlightening the world, the same consists essentially of this and so. So, design patterns always have only one claim. Unlike pattern which can have multiple claim, design has only one claim. Now, look at USPTO definition of design. Visual ornamental characteristics embodied in or applied to an article of manufacture. Since it is manifested in appearance, it may relate to the configuration or a shape of the particle or the surface ornamentation applied to an article or to the combination of configuration or surface ornament. Ornamentation is inseparable from the article to which it is applied and it cannot exist alone. It must be definite pattern of surface ornamentation applied to an article of manufacture. Because when you talk about a cup and saucer, there is some design there. So, it is applied to cup and plate. There is the design. In isolation, it is does not entitled for a design registration. Look at this. This is something which all of us see. This is a Microsoft thing.
look at this bar user interface all of us have seen this what is the claim the ornamental design for a user interface for a portion of display screen as shown and described that's it this small strip at the bottom what you see is the design illustration Let us look at some other examples. Computer icon for display panel, shaver, electric shavers, mobile phones, the number of patterns, design patterns used in mobile phone. One of the case study which I have given is a very celebrated case. Apple versus Samsung with $1 billion damage. We listen to that case study. Tire rips, you know, different tires have different rips. Applic, all of us had a school uniform with applic for the school emblem. Mesh bag, insert, hair bun holder, baluster, textile, I mean, uh, construction, lamp post, ear plug, handicraft. Bracelet, jewelry design is again widely protected. Bottles, all this FMCG product, shampoo, bottles, cosmetic, hair oils, everything. Mug, chair, furniture design again widely protected. Chappal, again one of the footwear cases I will give you. Comb bag. So, all kind of things can be protected. Again, as I told you, there is a territorial right, national system, but again Europe has a European parliament, European community, European law. So, they also have a European patent system. So, they also have a universal design system, which came into force in 2003. 
So, with a single registration you can get a protection all the 25 countries with at a low cost quick registration and then you get opportunity in all 25 countries and applies to any product goods, packaging, get up anything. Again there are international conventions, Paris convention we talked about trips and there is a Hague agreement which covers specifically only design. Under the Hague system you can do international filing saying you want to protect in X, Y, Z country, your domestic registration is not compulsory but right of refusal lies with each country, there is a central WIPO registry. We are still not the members of the Hague agreement. So, design register in India does not automatically get registration in other countries. Informally I heard discussions, apparently the political system thinks we are not still ripe enough for this agreement under court you can copy, <laughs> but that is what they say <laughs> which means <laughs> they are saying you are still not ready. So, they want design to mature as a profession as a business for this. So, we are still not the members, but soon we will be. <laughs> Period of protection as I told you is 15 years India, but varies from 10 to 25 years in country subject to timely renewal. You get 10 years at a time. Then we have reciprocal arrangement in UK because our law is based on UK law. So, whatever we get protected here, we can get protected in UK and vice versa. How do you do design registration? You find prior art like in the patent, is there an existing registration? Is the design registered already? There are international databases where you can search. Then you prepare representation of drawing. How does it look like and what are the novel feature there? Then identify the class of design because furniture has a separate class, leather good is a separate class, the packaging bottles have a separate class. So, in which class you want to register? It is possible the same design can be registered in multiple classes. So, if you want to protect in multiple classes, you have to make multiple registration protecting your design in those. Something which can get protected on textile can also get protected on something else. Then you can protect in different classes. You show where the novelty resides and as I said trademark any functional thing, numericals, letters etcetera will not be protected only the aesthetic aspect get protected. And if you applied previously anywhere, if you want to claim that priority date you can claim. That classification of goods is again an international agreement. All international agreement get the name of the city in which they are signed. So, this is Locarno and classification is based on the function. There are 32 classes and subclasses and one application in one application, multiple applications are permitted. And when we talk about novelty, you have to say the novelty resides in shape and configuration as illustrated. Novelty resides in the portion A and B. Novelty resides in the ornamentation or surface pattern. Like novelty resides in the floor ornamentation on a carpet. On a carpet there is a floral design. So, that is your novelty. You have done it for the first time the design on a carpet. So, that is surface ornamentation. Again disclaimer. It is not a part of trademark, no functional aspects and no protection of any words, letters, numerical flags. Design once obtained can also be cancelled. If it was previously registered, it was published anywhere else, it is not new or original, it is not registrable under the law. Means it not defined as a design under the act, then the requirement when it says it should not contain any options material is not registrable. So, all the exemptions you 
can restore the lapse design provided you apply within one year. But within one year, if anybody else copies, then it cannot be called as infringement. And what is infringement? People are prohibited from using without your permission. If they apply to anything else and sell, actually even publication itself, you don't apply, but you publish, you put up in a magazine that you are selling that item protected, it is a considered infringement. Applying design or any fraudulent imitation to any article, any class in the design register, even importing for sale or belonging to a class in the design register is a fraudulent. To publish or expose for sale any article, any class, it is fraudulent. This is the sad part of the law. Penalty is only 25,000, maximum 50,000, which is a very small sum. So, a lot of people do infringe, pay penalties because the risk is very low. You make more money and again commit the crime again. This is what needs to be changed because this is really anything. Let us look at some of the cases. There is a case which applies to upholstery design. These people had not registered. Since they had not registered, they said we have protection under the copyright. Court said yes, we agree the artistic nature, so copyright comes into existence. But the fact that more than 50 reproduction has been done, that is not valid. The design, so you have already produced 50 pieces. The law clearly says, no you sold 50 pieces. Huh. Law clearly says that you will get a copyright provided you do not make more than 50 pieces. No, no, that is a copyright. We are talking about a design now. What I am saying, you have a design and you have not taken a design registration. You still have a copyright in that. But the moment you make more than 50 copies of that, that copyright is not valid. I have done a design, I have not bothered to register, okay, and you infringe it. I can sue you. Provide under the copyright because I have a copyright in that. See, you have lost the originality. See, what, ori what the law says, it should be original, should not have been published. The moment you bring it to the market, by your own action, you are destroying your novelty. You are bringing it to public domain. Now, afterwards you cannot go, now what you have sold in the market or what you have published itself acts against you as a prior art. You cannot say this is my work, but you brought it to public. Having brought to public, you destroyed the novelty. If you had not brought to public, then you can claim the novelty. Copyright comes into existence when the work is created. Uh, by default. But the moment you make more than 50 copies, you cannot claim protection under copyright for the design. So, here in this case, they have sold more than 50 copies. Therefore, court did not give them any injection. This is a dabber, your hair oil packaging. So, dabber sued this fellow and the fellow said this is a common design. A lot of manufacturer already using it. Dabber applicant had obtained the registration, but did not show where the novelty resides. So, he said, they are not pointed out where the novelty resides. And I am selling these bottles to other manufacturers, and they are in use before the Dabber's registration was a design. So, Dabber did not win the case. Here it was a toy, 
a toy scooter, they fought and the opponent said, look, a Hong Kong based toy magazine has already published this. This is part of the prior art, there is no novelty in this. And this guy said, look, my product is different. That was a scooter minus three wheeler. He had an auto rickshaw. He had converted that into a three wheeler. And then he showed there are dissimilarities. This was a footwear. Actually, it was for the shoe soles. And the opponent said, look, this guy has coupled the Bata design. So, how is he suing me for infringement? The court said the complainant himself is a pirater. So, you cannot ask for an injection to his opponent. This is a case which I am going to give it. So, I am not talking about it. All of you are going to get a case. So, this is one of the case I will give you. This is a celebrated case as I told you, Apple versus Samsung. So, we will provide that. Let us look at fashion. See, fashion can get protected under a copyright. And fashion changes very fast. You do not want a 60 year after your lifetime pattern. So, it does not, you know, justify any investment in any other way. As an artistic work, you get a creative component. But registration of design helps you from preventing others from exploiting, including in three dimensions, like a shape of a hat or a textile prints and all those kind of things. So, this is a case of Tarun Talani. Tarun Talani had designed a dress, sold it. Somebody else that Mesrani copied and started selling it. And Tarun Talani said, look, he said he has no design protection, he did not run design registration. Tarun Talani said, look, I have copyright protection. This guy said, no, it is required as a design under design protection, which he does not have. And Tarun Talani said, I have copyright protection. And he contested that. And Tarun Talani said, look, it was a limited edition. I had only brought 20 pieces. So, I am intended for copyright protection. So, court agreed, yes, it is an artistic work and it been done less than 20, uh, 50 pieces. So, Tarun Talani has a right. So, Tarun Talani won this case. Design is a primary IP you can get for a clothing design. See a skirt with ruffles or a cut or any decorative pattern on a shirt. It gives you a visual appearance, so aesthetic. You can't protect the feel, material or a function of a product. So, if you are thinking of a mass production, you must get a design protection. People also use trademark for the fashion. That Bettina Leono has a distinct pocket stitching, a trademark. Burberry has those check pattern, you know. They are all protected as a trademark. You get a copyright, but as we have seen, copyright is just an expression. And again, you can do reverse engineering, independent creation. So, one off fashion design is okay, but mass production, copyright is not good. So, copyright and design overlap in many such cases. Your paper pattern, you will get a copyright. The moment that paper pattern is converted into a product, the mass production. Then you move into a design. 
area. Artistic creation cannot be patented, but today you have functional aspects which are being built into textile like order control, body temperature, all those garments are patent protected. Let us look at Lego. All of us know Lego as a toy of the century and it has those clutches you know, that Lego brick and they interlock and what they are saying is there are more than 900 million ways in which you can lock it and Lego bricks of 1958 the first product is still interlocked with those which are made recently. This is the first patent of Lego brick studs which expired in 1988 and the moment it expired they attracted the competitors and Lego sued people. So, wherever they sued them on the design they lost it, but when they sued them under copyright infringement they won. Trademark is still valid and current laws to even allow you to protect the shape of the goods which will never expire, trademark will never expire. And then Lego kept on moving this technology from that they got into place sets which are themed around you know variety of topics, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, they got copyrights, then they got into programmed toys where they got also patents. So, digital designs they started crowdsourcing computer video games and each with a different IP rights you know. So, looking at functional you put patent, you put copyright, you put trademarks. So, multiple IP rights we protect. So, we always say Lego has tried to protect in perpetuity. Look at Duracell battery manufacturer. So, they once upon a time identified a gap in the market for torches, went to a design firm, gave them a brief saying we want a well designed portable light, short range lighting needs in a flexible and versatile way, free standing as well as handheld, desirable as a personal possession and interesting as a gift, high quality, performance, economical price, enhance the seller with better. battery. There was a brief they gave to design studio and they had a torch with a flip top concept. So, there is a head which has a lamp bulb actually. So, when you open the bulb comes on, when you close the bulb goes off. So, it is while action acts as a on off switch and they have a patent on that part because it is a functional aspect and they have this yellow and black color scheme with the design protected by the design registration and for which they won the design award, UK calls design award. And Duracell is a registered trademark across the world. They have more than dozen torches, but the pocket torch is still one of the best sellers. And since it was a successful led to a lot of competition, but designs have never been copied. And only once when the attempt was made, legal action Duracell stopped them. Toblerone, distinct shape of chocolate, triangular. And that is inspired by Zematic Silva Maferon. And world Toblerone is protected in 120 countries. And shape is self packed also the trademark because law allows you. So, nobody can make a triangular chocolate. Coca Cola, although their trademark is one of the strongest trademark in the world, but the Coke bottle with those ridges itself is registered worldwide. The UK gave trademark to even the two dimensional drawing of the bottle. So, the distinctive shape gives you a protection and people cannot pass up. Nobody can make a bottle like this with those ridges. Even 
cutlery you know. In this case, this is a manufacturing technique which gives you varying thickness you know. So, that manufacturing process does get a protection as a patent, but the product gets a design registration because the way it looks like varying thickness. This is a chair called Millennium Chair, it is an art institute of Chicago. Again, popping is very difficult because of the shape as you see, the form which you cannot really copy in that sense. There are a lot of artistic work there. It gets protected by copyright, but they also have a design right on that. Packaging, this is Rekita and Coleman. They have this lemon juice put into a real lemon kind of shape packaging with the word GIF embossed on it and you can screw the cap, squeeze it out and they have protection in the design. People have tried to copy and they stopped although they do have granted license to people. What I am telling you is most successful design have multiple protection and design is an integral part of innovation. So, any IP protection must take into consider the design registration. Very often we neglect till Apple versus Samsung case came up with a billion dollar damages design was one of the neglected IP right, but that case with so much of damages brought out important that people started shifting attention paying to design. Very often we do not see and very often our products are very crude. You will see boxes being put functional, but no attention being paid to design. Consumer product companies do it, but we all engineers bring out lot of things, but do not look at aesthetic aspect. Some box like this will come not very attractive, but functionality is 100 percent. On our mobile phones, the third thing we will see in that case Apple versus Samsung and so many things. Whether car styling you talk about, anything, washing machine, <laughs> consumer durable, entertainment, electronics. Any questions on design? No question. Let us then briefly look at Let us look at other forms of IP. One is geographical indicator. This is a latest IP, right? When I say latest of recent origin, last 25 years or so, when the GATT negotiation was taking place, the France brought this issue on the table, saying we are well known for wines champagne and all that and people are producing champagne and other things across the world and it is hurting our business because it is our, our goodwill which is being passed off. So, they wanted the protection. A lot of discussion debate and France was very persistent and fought very bitterly and finally, it was this because there are other countries also came in with their own examples saying their products are being copied. So, finally, a new right was introduced called geographical indication. What is geographical indication? 
geographical indication or indication is identify a good as originating in the territory of member country or region or locality in that country where a given quality, reputation, other character of good is essential attribute to the geographic origin. So, when you say champagne, you are saying wine made from the grapes grown in the Baltics region, which is part of the France and part of Germany. Only that wine can be called as champagne. We had a winery in Baramati, they used to produce wine and they had named it as champagne. You can't do that. When you say a basmati rice, is a rice grown in some part of northern India and part of Pakistan. You can't say basmati grown in south of India as a basmati. When you say Darjeeling tea, you are saying tea grown in the Darjeeling district of Assam. You can't call Kangra tea grown in Himachal Pradesh as a Darjeeling tea. So, Darjeeling tea only belongs to that origin. And you are saying that flavor is because of agroclimatic condition there. So, these are geographical indicators and that is our protection. When we talked about that rice case in patent, that company rice Techs, in spite of that patent, aside from that patent has a product in the market called Texmati. They are from Texas and they are selling a particular variety of rice as Texmati. That is misappropriation of geographical indicator because that gives you an indication that is a Basmati rice when you say Texmati. So, APEDA is fighting them in US court. They can't call anybody, any rice as a Basmati rice or any variant of that which gives that impression. And again, so geographical indication is an indication originates from the definite geographical territory, identifies agricultural, natural or manufactured goods. The manufactured goods should be produced or processed or prepared in that territory. It should have a special quality or reputation or other characteristics. Now, a lot of people have a confusion about trademark and geographical indicator. Trademark identifies products from a particular manufacturer and GI identifies not the manufacturer or a producer, but the product place of origin. Trademark can be only used by one company, one firm which has registered it. GI can apply to all the producers in that country, region or locality. So, all tea states in Assam, in Darjeeling district can say this is Darjeeling tea. All rice mills in Uttaranchal can talk about a basmati rice. In India, when the text case arose, that Basmati patent, we could not initially fight because the requirement is your country must accept first as a geographical indicator. We had passed the act, but we had not framed the rules. So, Basmati were not registered in India itself. So, under the international convention, if your own country does not recognize, you cannot talk on a man. And when we started the process, we had internal fights, MP wanted to be included because part of MP which was contiguous to UP, they are claiming they are growing Basmati rice and Northern Rice Mill Association did not want MP to be included, so it creates a competition. So, we internally fought for many number of years to decide our own geographical area within the country which should be relegated. In the meanwhile, Pakistan went and registered because they had a growing and we have last year decided MP will be excluded. So, there are more than 100 GIs have been registered in India, Basmati rice, 
Manarasi brocade, Tripati Ladu. I have my own reservation and I talked to controller at that point of time. I say, how do you call Tripati Ladu as a geographical indicator? I have same recipe, I will make it in Pune, it will be still the same Ladu. He is saying through that trust is claiming that Ladu is still taken to the sanctum, sanctorum and there are special God's blessings are there, so it is special that you can't do it in Pune. Ha, <laughs> 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 but that, that is what they are claiming. Same thing I had objection to Hyderabad Halim. I say Halim recipe anywhere is Halim, what is there? He said, look, we notified, we followed the whole process, nobody objected, so we granted. In India, you know, I find this has become too much of an emotional issue. Now, you have to go and take a, again, I am coming to that. The right is not granted to an individual. It is granted to an associate <laughs> and trust. So, now you have to go to the trust. Uh, but in other kind, like when you are talking about tea, Vasmati, it will be either applied by Assam Tea Growers Association or by APEDA, which is Agriculture Export Promotion Agency. So, people in Darjeeling or Assam will have to go and apply to that association or to the APEDA. The then the association will sue the infringer. But there will be arrangement between the members, you know, then you have to be a member of the association. So, all members benefit or lose, whatever it is. So, what I am saying in India, this issue is become very emotional. Like somebody has gone and protected Puneri Pagdi. You have seen that Pagdi which Lokman and Tilak wears, you know. That is called Puneri Pagdi. You know, that is registered as GI. Now, question is who is going to infringe? <laughs> Where? So, a lot of such items are protected in India. It is an emotional issue, may not have a commercial issue. So, more than 100 GIs have been registered. So, a lot of agriculture commodities have been registered. All this uh, Kanchipuram saris and all those kind of things. But the tragedy is, we used to import silk from China. China decided to do value addition. They said, why should we export silk? We will export saris. They had Tamil workers, double the salary or triple the salary, took them to China. Now, those guys are producing and you are getting Chinese silk saris. You go to Madura, you go to the shop, you can't make a distinction whether it is locally produced or Chinese produced. They are not saying anything, they are selling sari. Now, you go to Madura and the fellow says this is Kanchipuram sari, the designs are same. The silk is same, the design is same, the worker artisan was the same. Oh, he say, I am selling you sari, I am not saying Kanchipuram, that shop fellow is telling you Kanchipuram sari. And she cannot distinguish, none of us, my wife cannot distinguish, none of you. What is different there? No, but who is copyright? When I provided that print, design has been copyrighted, then you can. That technique of manufacturing is protected, it is a traditional process, no? It is in public domain. See, your silk is same. Your design is same, your artisan is same, how you do it is distinguished. Only by a trademark you can. There is only way you can do it. So that is a major issue, you know, you have today in this kind of things. So a lot of Swiss chocolates, wines, wines are heavily protected. Spain, Argentina, all the people wear wine. So, any question on GI? The time now. Uh, 
Let us look at quickly biotech. What is biotech? Any technological application which uses any biological system, living system are parts of that, which results into any commercial useful product. And today it has major impact right from food production to the pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, industrial fermentation products, including you know waste treatment, everything. So, a lot of commercial application, a lot of economic impact, but biotechnology is not old you know. We look at the history, plant breeding is as old as 8000 BC. Beer, wine, bread, preparation is as of yeast, yogurt, cheese with lactic acid bacteria. Animal breeding research was done 200 years ago. 1880, we first time discovered microorganisms. All of us remember our school, Mendel's Law of Genetics, 150 years ago. Only about 100 years ago, the term biotechnology was coined. And then you have living systems like what is called hybridoma technology, recombinant DNA technology, the first human insulin came. Till that time insulin was produced from the animals. Boots at a factory in Siam, which I have seen as a student from the spleens, the animal spleens the insulin was produced. It appeared more like a slaughterhouse <laughs> for that factory. Then you had a GM foods genetically modified food and then 2000 we had a human genome project and so on. So, actually you can divide into two parts, one is classical biotechnology which is over 200 year old, right from production of alcohol, ethanol, acetic acid, vinegar, then the modern biotechnology which began after 50s, recombinant, hybrid among genetic engineering, transgenic. Again, pattern protection is not new to biotechnology. Pasteur got his pattern way back in 37, pasteurization. Now, what is happening as the technology keeps on moving, the law does not move with that same speed. So, law has a difficulty in following technology. And as technology keeps on moving, the general skill in the art keeps on moving. So, when we talk about person's skill in the art, 50 years back nobody knew how do you cut this genes and join the genes. Today you teach undergraduate students, take restriction enzyme and cut the genes. So, ordinary skill has gone up. And biggest problem in biotechnology is loss is anything found in nature cannot be patented. And the living systems are part of the nature. So, every time question comes up, any time new technology comes in, new techniques come in, can this be patented? Because it uses the living systems. The first time the case went to right up to US Supreme Court. Anand Chakrati, which was working with G, had a genetically modified bacteria so that they could eat the oil spill. And patent office refused the patent, saying bacteria is a product of nature, you can't patent it. They appealed matter went right up to US Supreme Court. And US Supreme Court said anything under the sun is patentable as long as it involves a human technical intervention. Anything under the sun can be patented. So, genetically modified bacteria was a human intervention. So, the patent was allowed. And every time technology has moved and patents have been refused, people go right up to the US Supreme Court and Supreme Court says go back to a 1980 judgment, what did we say? anything under the sun, technical intervention. So, under that human technical intervention, 
they are being allowed. So, what is not patentable is when they are in natural state, any naturally occurring microorganism, plant or animal, human beings are elements of human body, are the nucleotide sequences is a basic building block, they cannot be patented. They become patented when you isolate them from their natural environment, then you are doing a human intervention or when you are producing by means of a technical process, you are genetically altering them or you are isolating the nucleate sequence, bringing any variations in it, bringing out some function, means function test, function gain. All controversy COVID is because of this, why there is no open declaration of Chinese involvement, why everybody is keeping quiet, because initially all started work, gain function research. How do you living system you manipulate to get a gain? Now that initially also US supported that research. US also gave grant, but now that went out of control. So, you are genetically altering the natural systems to gain some advantage. So, then it becomes patentable, but law also prohibits inventions even if you do that human intervention. Processes for the reproductive cloning of human beings is not allowed to be patented. Process for modifying the germline genetic identity of human beings, otherwise people will start ordering designer babies. I say I want a high IQ baby, I want a fair baby and all those kind of things. Yes. Now see, no, no, question is when it comes for examination, then we looked at novelty, what was previously published. The first person will get it, the second person not get it. Yeah, after the how? It will take after three years. So yes. Now the question is to tell you very frankly, you can't do this kind of research overnight in one month and uh, nine months. All the work was done previously. You are famous, this company which uh, sold a drug, which was that first drug? Uh, no, 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 for COVID, uh, well, that first, not Pfizer, no, no, that is a vaccine. I am talking about a drug which was Gilead, a uh, Gilead drug company. No, 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 all these are vaccines. Med, uh, R, the medicine studies R, what is that? Expensive Ramsidier. Ramsidier work was done 10 years ago. All the patents were there. And this was during the previous pandemic, either Ebola or one other, where it failed, it did not fail. Somebody else turned out to be superior. So they did not win. They used the same technology here, patented technology. Huh. But they were based on a technology developed in a university. That was applied. That of previous work which was done and brought to the table, that was used. So, those previous work was patented. But I understand the point what you are saying. It may happen later on. Then later on, the fellow who really wins, uh, he can get the royalties. 
government can even say a compulsory license, this is a public emergency. Government has a right in a public interest, government can emergency. We are still fighting in Viper proposition saying for the pandemic there should not be patent rights. That patent waiver which we are talking about, WTO has not taken any action, means just meetings are going on. See this we are talking about patent. So, question of clinical trial is a separate issue. It there may be unpatented drug and you may still conduct a clinical trial. Some companies might file for patent after like conducting the clinical trial. Yes. See you decide to choose when you want to file a patent. You run a danger of somebody else filing before you. That is a risk you take. I invent today and I do not file a patent. I file it after 5 years when all my trials are over. In the meanwhile, he files a patent, then I am the loser, no? Yes. He has filed before me. Yes, sir, like without the trials, you can't file a patent. No, without the trials, you cannot sell the product. Patenting has nothing to do with a clinical trial. You file the patent earliest. Mm. Only regulatory approval to make and sell comes after the trials. So, therefore, patents are filed early in the game and patents are filed very generically. Out of it may turn out to be some 200 molecules, out of the 200 one will be the drug, but your protection will be for those 200 which you call a drug. Therefore, we call it as a species pattern. See in botanical you have species, you know species, if you remember your botanical classification. So, there is a whole family and then this particular species. So, those 200 get protected and finally, one of them will become your candidate for the drug and that is done much early in the game. So, both are separate, regulatory approval, you may have a patent, but you cannot make and sell the product till you have regulatory approval. Pharma, agrochemicals, cosmetic, food, medical devices, genetically modified crops, all these are yes. Skin irritation and all that will happen. So, what can be patented today is microorganisms, gene, genome, plasmid, express sequence tag, recombinant DNA, monoclonal antibody, gene therapy, cell therapy. That product which CIPLA sells for 2 lakh rupees for that COVID was basically monoclonal antibodies. Most of the expensive drug today, 20,000 a dose, etcetera, all those are for spine and all that are basically monoclonal antibodies. Gene therapy, cell therapy, bone marrow transplant, etcetera, all this can be patented. This is a famous case whether BRCA1 gene, which is associated with breast cancer, this company took a patent and then they sued every hospital, every diagnostic center which was doing cancer detection and everybody stopped doing that. And finally, people went back to the Supreme Court, initially court had said the patent is valid with lot of hue and cry on a revision. So, the Supreme Court reversed the decision saying you cannot. So, what you can patent is complementary DNA which is synthetically created from gene material is patentable. Human genes cannot be patented now. On the revision of this, ha, huh, but only complementary. This is the Supreme Court has reversed it. Then you have plant breeders, right? In India, we are called, there is again an international convention, but we have added farmers right also there. There are certain varieties which farmers have preserved, they have knowledge for centuries, generation to generation, those wild race varieties they are preventing. So, we wanted to preserve their rights also. So, we are calling it plant variety and food right. Now, that is given to the breeders for all proprietary material as a harvested material but it should be new, it should be distinct 
it should be uniform and stable. Stable because after first crop, farmers normally save the seeds for the next. So, variety should not lose its character. It should remain stable over a number of cycles. There is some overlap because for a genetically modified sheep, you will also get a patent. So, you have patent and you have plant breeder here. So, sometimes that becomes a cause for litigation. People like Monsanto will have heavily patent process as well as a product. The requirements, the variety for which you are asking for protection should not contain any gene or gene sequence known as terminator technology. What is the terminator technology? Monsanto had introduced this in their seeds. So, all the reproduction was lost. So, farmer what he got was a sterile seed. So, he could not use for the second generation. Lot of hue and cry. Finally, Monsanto declared that they will not use terminator technology. But we have put into the law that if there is a terminal technology, we will not give you any protection. And the genetic material or parent material for breeding, evolving must have been lawfully acquired. Lot of bioprospecting taking place out of the world, lot of biomaterial being stolen. So, we said it should have been lawfully acquired. There has to be an agreement, you got it from agriculture university, research institution or somebody does a proper agreement, we say prior informed consent. And what is that farmer variety which I talked about? Variety which has been traditionally cultivated and evolved by farmers in their fields. There is a wild relative or land race of variety, what is the farmer possesses the common knowledge. Actually, yesterday times if you see, there is an article about one of the farmer who has been given Padma Shri in Kerala, he has preserved 55 wild rice varieties. So, this is in a nutshell biotech, if you last semester I conducted two day program on biotech for the biotech people, but that can be too much detail. Any question comments? Biotech people will get separate biotech cases and we will talk about them. So, before we close, just one. See, all these electronic gadgets we have has a circuitry, the PCB board. All the layouts get protected by international agreement, it is called Washington Agreement. This is also called mask works because the way it is made, you know, you basically cover up with a resin and only the open space captures that copper metal nice it is. So, it is like a copyright in a chip design. Again, it has to be original for the protection and you get a protection 10 year term. The law exists, but of late last 10, 15 years, there has been hardly use of this. For a simple reason, technology changes very fast. Because every 6 months if your mobile is changing or all gadgets are moving, what is the point in doing such a kind of a protection, you know, <laughs> unless it was a microprocessor chip which went into PC 4086 and all that, all those became obsolete now, <laughs> Pentium chips, etcetera. Otherwise, again I am going to give a case study on this chips, protecting chips, but this particular provision people have used pattern, but uh, semiconductor layouts I find very less use because of technology obsolescence becoming very fast. So, any question comments? Next time related topic we will discuss about traditional knowledge, which will also a little of take, but today. So, then we will stop here, there are no questions. <laughs>